Maybe you know the fairy tale of uh, Baron Brashil. Uh, I like it very much because uh, there is a very interesting and true point in it. Uh, you know, Baron Brashil, he was living with many illusions and many lies. And uh, once he was riding with his horse and he uh, was falling into a deep dust and dirt. And uh, he had no chance to come out. He was sinking slowly down. And then he had a good idea. He was taking himself by his own hair and whoosh, pulling him up. And so he came out of the dirt and at the end he was flying away together with his horse. Uh, this is the reason why I had long hair a long time in my life. But this is only a joke. Uh, we know this is not possible. Nobody can put himself out with his own hair of the dust. But, and this is the point, many people think they can. In reality, they live like this. If you ask them, how are you? Yes, it's going well. They try to pull themselves out of their problems, but it don't work. And if you look closer on their life, you see that they are sitting in a deep dust. And there are so many, many ways and different ways to come into this dirt of life. So many different people are sitting in different kinds of dust. There is, for example, this dirt of loneliness, the dirt that nobody loves me, the dirt that I don't know my value, maybe a dirt that I am unemployed and are sinking deeper and deeper. Maybe a relation is broken and I am left lonely and sinking deeper in senselessness. Or I am ill. This is also a dirt and you can sink down or the fear of the death. There are so many ways, drugs, criminal structures or bad friends. So many people are sinking deeper and deeper down. And if you ask them, how are you? Yes, it's fine, it's fine. But inside they are in a deep dirt of life. It's very interesting to see that many people they try to keep upright the outward of their life, but inside they are sitting in a dust of perversions and sin and guiltiness and they know it. What can we do? Look, in the Bible is standing, and this is my experience, in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 55, I called on your name, O Lord, from the lowest pit. You have heard my voice. Do not hide your ear from my sighing, from my cry for help. You draw near on the day I called on you and said, do not fear. Here, Jeremiah says, I called the name of the Lord from the lowest pit. He was sitting in a deep pit, but he was crying to God and God was helping him. Many people made this experience. I would not live today when my grandfather would not made this experience. He was in the war on the front and then the enemies came closer and closer and they were throwing granats and bomba and all the colleagues from the company of my grandfather they were going more and more back and leaving this place but my grandfather he was hiding himself behind of different rocks because the granats were blowing away parts of the rock and, and the, the iron and the stones are flying through the air and there was nothing left alive. Nothing. And my grandfather was hiding himself and waiting and waiting and waiting and for him it was like hours. And when this attack stopped, my grandfather went out and he saw there was nothing left alive. And while he was sitting there, he was the first time in his life praying. He was calling to the name of the Lord. God, help me, save me. Before of this, he was not very interested in God. But now he prayed in this deepest of his pit. And he came out of this. 
And he had no chance to leave this place because the company was far away. He had no power to move himself away from there. What should he do? And when he lift up his eye, he saw a horse. A living horse was standing there eating grass. Where does this horse come from? Everything was death. When we visit my grandfather again and again, he asked us again and again, where does this horse come from? He knows that God has placed this horse there because this is a miracle. Nothing was alive in the whole area. And he jumped on this horse. He was never riding before, but he was running away with this horse and he's alive. I made the same experience. When I was working in the disco as a bouncer, I came into my pit in the moment when this man attacked me with the knife and I had no chance. And I only cried into myself when he was jumping with the knife into my body, Lord help and he stopped in front of me stiff like a stone. Many people made the experience that God was helping them in their deepest problems, in their deepest situation. God can make miracles, but we have to learn to live in harmony with him, to trust in him, to obey him, to come out of these situations. I don't know your pit. I don't know the dirt of your life. But I know if you really want to live in harmony with God, God will help you out of your pit. And we must remember one point. One day we will come in our last pit, in our last grave. But isn't this wonderful? If we believe in Jesus Christ, he will even take us out of this grave, of this deep pit. He will resurrect us from the death and we will have eternal life together with God in heaven. Life can be hard and cruel, and many died too early. But when we die in the Lord, we know He will even take us out of this pit at the end.